Well, here's the hot topic, how to quickly download and install Windows 11. Let's get started! Hey everybody, nice to see you! My name is Michael and what we do here on the Recover It channel is to provide you with practical and easy to follow data solution tutorials and also to show you the strengths of our professional grade data recovery software. Today we're going to talk about the downloading and installation of Windows 11, the long anticipated Windows and Microsoft Windows upgrade and something that is going to be very hot during this holiday season. Now, before I guide you through the process of downloading and installation of Windows 11, it's good to talk about the benefits, because clearly Windows 10, which is deployed on most systems, is still rock solid. So question is, why is Windows 11 better? And here a note, at the time when we record this video, it's still too early for the final version, so the only thing that you can download and deploy is the early edition of the Insider Beta program. If you're still convinced that you want to get Windows 11 on your computer, let us go ahead and highlight the most important benefits. I think the user interface is clearly one of the hot topics and now with Windows 11 it's going to look a lot more like Mac OS and it's going to have a lot more customization options. The widgets are another area of improvement and you have access to many more and way more customizable widgets. There's a new place of the start button and looks like an era is about to end because as you know, the start button has always been in the lower left corner, well now it's gonna be centered. And last but not least, multitasking. Snap layouts and snap groups are among the most helpful things you're going to notice with Windows 11 arriving and enhancing a lot the multitasking experience. I know, all of that sounds super exciting, but we're not there yet. Because like every new operating system, there are certain hardware requirements which would let us know whether you qualify for this operating system or not. So let's take a look at that as well. You need a 1 GHz or faster dual core CPU, at least 4 GB of RAM, 64 GB of available storage or even more, TPM version 2 or greater, graphics card which should be DirectX 12 compatible or better, and a display with at least 9 inches or larger. If you still qualify for all of that, let's go ahead and do some actual work. We start with the first method where we're gonna go through the update and security feature. On your current Windows 10 computer, tap the Start icon, then go to Settings, click Update and Security and tap on the Windows Insider Program option. You will be asked to choose an account in order to get started. Tap the plus icon and choose the Microsoft account that you want to sign up with for the Windows Insider Program. Follow all of these instructions and select the Dev Channel setting, make sure to pick the first option from the list, click Confirm. At this point of time you have to restart the system in order to apply the new changes. After the restart, go again to Settings, Update and Security, Windows Update and click Check for Updates. That's it, that's how we do it from the Update and Security feature, it's really easy. Now, an important note, you need to have a fully licensed Windows 10 in order to do this procedure. If there's a problem with your license, well, there still is a Plan B option to download a Windows 10 ISO image to deploy it in a trial period and then to try to upgrade, but not really sure if it's worth the effort. Now, speaking of downloading images, this is approaching our second method that I would like to show you, and that would be downloading the ISO file of Windows 11 from an alternative location different to Microsoft.com. We recommend using the uupdump.net website for the job. Here you're going to find all the latest Windows 11 64-bit builds, which work like a charm. After you download the ISO image, you have to create a bootable USB drive. To do this, you can use Rufus. Simply plug any USB drive and follow these instructions. You click the Select from the drop-down menu in order to load the ISO file that you just downloaded. Then choose the USB drive as a target location and the device from the drop-down. Click Start to initiate the process of making your USB drive bootable. Once the process completes, restart the computer, boot from the USB drive. Each laptop and computer has a different process to boot from the drive, so make sure to find it out and we have talked about that in multiple episodes. After you successfully boot from the USB drive, choose the region, select the location, click the next button and follow the on-screen instructions in order to complete the installation process. Keep in mind that if you use the option with the ISO image, 
it would be a really good idea if you have a backup up front because it's very likely that you're going to use a lot of files and settings in the meanwhile. And one of the very good recommendations I can give to you is to use Wondershare's You Back It option. Or if after you do the new installation and if your Windows 11 is nicely running and you figure out that some of the files are missing, don't be too concerned because now I'm going to show you how you can easily recover files by using Wondershare Recover It. Download, install, launch Recover It on your computer, then choose the location from where the files were previously deleted and click the Start button in order to proceed further. Then Recover It is going to start scanning the selected location to find all the deleted files. Be patient because this process may take a few minutes in order to complete. Once the scanning completes, you're going to see a list of all the scanned files on your screen. At this point, all you have to do is to browse through the results and select the files that you want to get back. Finally, click Recover at the bottom right-hand corner of the screen to restore them back to your system. So, that's everything about this episode. Well, if you ask me, at this point of time it's probably still too early to try to deploy Windows 11 on your systems, but if you're too eager to try all these new awesome features, then you already know how to do it. I think there are two key takeaways from this episode. First of all, always backup. No matter what you plan to do, make a fresh copy of all your existing data using you back it, so that in case something bad happens, you have a way out. Or alternatively, if there's a trouble with some files missing and something that you can't find but you know that previously existed on your drive, download Recover It and successfully retrieve all the data that you have lost. And I think that's everything about this episode. In case you need some more help and support about installation of Windows 11 or you have some ideas to contribute with, here's the comment section below the video. Thank you very much for watching this and subscribe for more practical data solution tutorials. I'm Michael, gonna see you in the next episode. Bye!